Okay, it's a Wednesday midweek. We have a juicy NBA slate. We didn't go 5-0. and We didn't go 0-5. So that's a good thing. We didn't go 4-1. and We didn't go 1-4. and So in the middle is not great, but that's kind of where we were last night. If you tailed the NBA parlay video, congratulations. You knocked that one. So it makes you feel a little bit better about not going 5-0 and here. I mean, my goodness, to go 8-0 and on a night, we've done it. But... Maybe not every single night. With that said, you don't give a shit about that. You want five bets in five minutes, and you want them now. So I'm going to ask you to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe. Be a part of the Odd Chopper channel. We grow so fast here. We are so thankful for all the people, newcomers and day oneers that have been here. So thank you, first and foremost. Hit that thumbs up button as well, because that helps us. Now, let's head on over, because I'm going to tell you what's going on here. Don't worry. We're still doing this thing. Bet MGM, 10 or more. Risk-free bet up to $1,000. Don't worry about any of that. I'm going to tell you, okay? So here it is, all right? Now, let's get back to this start the clock. Let us begin with, and we're going to go right back to this player prop, by the way. And that's what's happening in, uh uh-huh, my guy's up there. Don't tell me my guy just popped up and throw an audible on this entire video. Donovan Mitchell over 26 and a half points is where we're going to begin because I didn't, when I was building this, I didn't see somebody and you're damn right. We're going right back to it. But the first one is over 26 and a half points for Donovan Mitchell. This is it, right? This is the showcase marquee matchup tonight with the Milwaukee Bucks in town. And you finally get to put this hard and well-deserved earned record at home up against the world now. Oh, look at this. We take the Bucks on. We take anybody on at home here in Cleveland. Mitchell's going to be a big part of that. Let Milwaukee do anything possible to slow Mitchell down. The volume alone, the only way they compete, the only way they win, blah, blah, is with Donovan Mitchell and that firepower. <laughs> All right, audible. Let's call the audible. We go right back to over two and a half threes for our guy, our pal, DeAnthony Melton. Look, if you think that I'm going to be scared away from what just happened last time out, where he just missed this, by the way, this prop in overtime. Think again. He took 11 threes, eight before that, seven before that. I'm putting this up right now as we speak. DeAnthony Melton, all right? I'm putting it on the Discord. Over two and a half threes, plus 115 or better, where you can find it, all right? My goodness, the volume here. He has stepped in to this role with Tyrese Maxey. That was Maxey before he got hurt, at least. Tobias Harris is going to take threes. Don't get me wrong. He's going to, but you just, the volume, that's what you attack on these props. Volume. Okay. And that's why we do it. Oh, my goodness. Let's keep it moving here. I, I couldn't believe. That was up there like that, and I just had to call a quick audible. Next one is going to be threes. We'll stay here on threes. Tim Hardaway Jr. is healthy. He is not even on the injury report. Minus 145 is a little big for a lot of people. I understand that. But here's what we love when it comes to at least Hardaway Jr. here getting the volume of shots. It's not going to be Dinwiddie so much. You've seen Doncic's totals dip, right? This guy used to be at like over four and a half, minus 110. He's now at over three and a half at plus 135. That's going to dip, as you can imagine, down at two and a half. It's just a matter of time. So Hardaway Jr. is going to have an opportunity here. And I, I think they even know setting that at minus 145, there's a pretty good shot that through volume, Hardaway is going to knock this down, get us to three, and then we can kind of sit back and relax on that one. All right, I'm a little torn because the Melton one knocked somebody off, and clearly I'm not just knocking people off to get knocked off. Uh, There is some value, I think, in going over six and a half rebounds as our third play here for Jalen Brown. And the reason is the Pacers just don't rebound. They don't rebound well. They, They barely rebound at all at this point. So I think looking at an opportunity for somebody other than Tatum in that wing slash front court, depending on the matchup and how small Indiana goes, Pacers are not going to be able to keep everybody off the board. Horford is not going to be as big of a threat. He's going to be probably more of a focus up front. It's longer shots, a lot of threes in this game. You're going to see longer rebounds. Jalen Brown's going to be a really good spot. He rebounds better than most people he defends. I think right away you can target either Tatum or Brown. I think there's a better chance for Brown to get to nine than Tatum 
to get to nine. And I have a little more wiggle room, even with that extra rebound. So let's ride with that. I'm telling you, Melton over two and a half plus 115 or better. Slam it. If you're on the Discord and you haven't checked yet, slam it. I'll tell you about how you can get on the Discord in a second. The clock's moving. We have one more bet to go, you know. We're going to make this a true parlay here. This is going to be under 30 and a half points for SGA. Portland is in revenge mode. Portland just saw Damian Lillard pass Clyde Drexler, Blazers score all this. Now they have to go back and beat a Thunder team that beat them the last time these two teams took the court, which is their last game. The way it's not going to be outscoring SGA. I think he takes a step back. I think the focus is on making his life as miserable as possible, which is going to be difficult because he is a gifted scorer in this league. But we still like him in this spot right now to just take a little bit of a step back and not have that much volume, at least. And also going up against a team that he eventually is going to lose to tonight if they get blown out. I don't like SGA hitting 31 points. Still stay at 30, but not 31. There's your five and five. All right, we'll run that back for you in just a second. But as I mentioned, the BetMGM thing is live. So you can get a free $25 bet. All you need to do is click the link below, sign up, deposit at least $10. It's going to take you 90 seconds to sign up and put money in your account. So you're going to get a free $25 bet. That's one thing. The other thing is your first actual bet, which should be whatever you deposit from 10 to $1,000, is risk-free. Do you hear me? Risk-free. Meaning it doesn't matter if that bet wins or loses. It is coming right back into your account. And you can do whatever the hell you want with that money once it comes right back into your account. So follow along. Ben Raza's sharp play of the day. Aaron Berg's NBA bets. Whatever we have on here, Andy, I know is on fire, right? Like we're all on fire. We're all doing crazy stuff. We're all doing positive stuff. We're all making you money. So use it as a risk-free bet, all right? And there you have it as far as the free $25 bet on top of that. And you can do some damage with that. Put it on a heavy dog, whatever it may be, all right? So we appreciate you rolling with us. Thumbs up button on the way out. Remind you about this Discord. We are moving up the price at the end of the calendar year. So you can get in now for a very low price. And once that calendar year hits, you're going to be grandfather, grandmother. You're going to be grandpersoned in. Everybody else, sorry. But you're also going to get a first free week. So you're able to take advantage of a bunch of cool things that we're doing, money-making opportunities that we're doing here on the discord, right? You know, Hey, how about a round Robin? Okay. How about the round Robin just hits? How about just hitting every leg in the round Robin? Come hang with us. First week is free and you can get grandfather grandmothered in. All right. Over 26 and a half points for Donovan Mitchell, over two and a half threes for D'Anthony Melton, over two and a half threes for Tim Hardaway Jr. Over six and a half Jalen Brown rebounds and under 30 and a half points for SGA. You are fully equipped for the night. We love you.